Not all pressure blasters are created equal. Although these units have the same capacity, there are significant differences in the features of these units and how they will perform. First, I would like to point out some of these units do not come with an air pressure gauge. The all source units do. Performing an abrasive blasting job without knowing the air pressure can be both dangerous and make the job more difficult. Some units do not have an air pressure regulator. An air pressure regulator is a feature that allows the user to easily adjust the air pressure when blasting different surfaces or using different types of abrasive for desired finishes. This unit does not have a water trap. It is very important to keep moisture out of the pressure vessel. Excessive moisture from the compressed air will cause abrasive to clump and cause clogging of the abrasive flow. Over time, excessive moisture can cause the inside of the pressure blaster to rust, causing damage to the pressure blaster and its components. The all source units have water traps for this reason. The ball valves on other units are very thin gauge and have very small openings. Here you can see the difference in the 3 8 ball valve used on an all source unit compared to others. Undersized ball valves can cause the abrasive to clog up and severely limit the performance of the pressure blaster. There are no wheels on this unit. When filled, this unit can easily weigh over 50 pounds. Both handles and 6 inch wheels make the all source units much easier to move around the job site. This unit does not have a dead man handle control. All it has to control abrasive flow is a light duty ball valve and a nozzle retainer. The all source abrasive blasters have a steel dead man handle that is much more convenient and safer for the operator to use. In case the operator would drop the blast hose, the dead man handle would stop the flow of abrasive. The other, if dropped, will continue to flow abrasive and cause possible injury. There are other plastic guillotine style dead man handles sold with other pressure blasters. After a closer look at how they work, you will find they have a thin rubber hose that is pinched off to stop the flow of abrasive. When the rubber hose fails at the pinch point, it will blow pressurized abrasive through the sides of the plastic dead man handle and ruin the dead man handle. The all source dead man handle has a steel tube running through it, which is much less likely to ever wear out. In summary, when purchasing a pressure blaster, make sure you compare the different features for safety, performance, and ease of use. Also make sure the replacement and wear parts are available for the unit you purchase. I believe you will find the all source units are the best value when compared to other brands.